because it's not a combi, because it's not a sealed system, we've got to basically make it a sealed system. So we've got to go up, shut that half inch lever valve onto the heating feed that I put in yesterday. Just cracked open the thorough flush and you can hear everything now shifting around through the system. So now the whole of the thorough flush kit is flushing cold water through this rad and you can see beginning to build up from the bottom. We've now shifted the rads to downstairs and we've opened one of the rads up downstairs and you can see how black this hose is now. Again, running through here and that's what's coming out. This is what has come out through the dump side of the thorough flush. Right, welcome back to the channel. Bit random being on a Monday night, but as you'll be fully aware, we did part one last night being Sunday night and part two tonight being Monday night. If it, if you're watching this out of sync, then part two was the video before, uh, sorry, part one was the video before, part two is tonight. I'm getting all a, a little bit confused because a Monday night, a bit random. This video is gonna be predominantly the thorough flush side of the whole system clean. And you'll also be able to compare what the two systems were like. Obviously you'll have seen the first one and today you'll see the second one, but it's quite an interesting comparison. And then at the end, we will do another AD Pro check with the system completely clean, as you'll see, and I'll show you exactly what you get from the AD Pro checks. And it's great to be able to just give back to your customer a complete sort of breakdown as to what was done with the system clean. So hope you enjoy it. As I said, a random Monday video. Let me know how if you like the two, the part one and the part two side of things, because some videos I'm quite aware that they can be quite long. So do you like the idea of splitting them up or would you rather have a longer one on a Sunday? Just drop me a comment below. Let me know what you think. As always, get subscribed to the channel and I will catch you all very soon. Right, it's the next morning and we're back just to check over exactly how the Magna Cleanse has been going overnight. So if we open up the drain on there, you'll see it's coming out pretty clear. So what we're going to do, I'm just going to run that off a little bit so you can get rid of a little bit of dirt out of the system. What we're going to do today is put the thorough flush kit onto it. Obviously cold main coming in, flow returns off either side will connect on up there. And then we'll have our dump hose, but our dump hose is going to come off through the Magna Cleanse unit just to catch any more crap that's coming through, back out of the Magna Cleanse unit and then to the drain. So we'll get rid of that hose, but we've just got to reconnect this up onto there with, again, with the thorough flush stuff, you get all the fittings. I've got a big bag of fittings there, but everything you'll ever need, everything you'll ever need in there. But we will need that and that to connect, that to connect onto the Magna Cleanse and that to connect onto the outside tap for the main coming in as always but double check valve pressure reducing valve and then the actual unit itself so let's get this one disconnected and the thorough flush put on so we shut the valves off there to the magma cleanse so this is isolated now i've just whipped these off to see what we caught last night just overnight a little bit but it just goes to show how much we shifted out yesterday while doing the, the complete clean through so yeah i've isolated them We've got this opened up just draining down into the sink so we'll whip these connections off here and then we've got to put them two on ready for the hoses to connect into the thorough flush so we're all set up now we've got the cold main connected it's on i've turned it on in fact so it's off here we've got the two flow returns connected up to the boiler we've got the dump hose coming off round into the magna cleanse as i said make sure that they're tight and then, and then it comes out of the magna cleanse and into the drain. But what we've got to do on this system, because it's not a combi, because it's not a sealed system, we've got to basically make it a sealed system. So we've got to go up, shut that uh, half inch lever valve onto the heating feed that I put in yesterday. And I usually keep a 22 mil cap in here. For some reason, I can't find it for the vent. So. Just going to pop a 22 mil lever valve onto the vent. We can take it off afterwards, it's not a problem. So let's shoot upstairs and get them on. So we've popped the lever valve onto the vent and then, as I said yesterday, we connected into this tank, into the cold feed that goes to the heating system, a little lever valve. So we'll shut that off 
So it's basically isolated the tank now. The water can't come back up through there into the tank and it can't come out of the vent into the tank. So in, in theory, it's made it into a sealed system for us to then begin flushing with a thorough flush, which we'll go downstairs now and get started. So there we go, we just cracked open the thorough flush and you can hear everything now shifting around through the system and coming out over here. So what this will do, this will flush the whole system complete with mains cold water, flushing out all the chemicals, all the MC5, all the MC3 that we've used. Each individual rad will be flushed through as well. It's just a bit of a time consuming thing now. So we'll leave it running and what we can do, we can flip the flow and return direction with that so it shifts around the system but everything is being dumped out through there so we'll catch it there and then coming out of here so there you go look we're still pulling a little bit of crap out of the system with the thorough flush up and running so just periodically you'll get a big chunk of dirt like this coming out through the system it's just from where you flick in the flow and returns just switching the direction of it just causes the water to move within the pipework and it'll just free up a little bit more of the crap that is in the system the thorough flush is great at just shifting stuff like that out of the system you can see just pumping it all out but everything is going through that magna cleanse as i've said you can see the dirt coming through the, so this is coming from the system through out the dump hose So what I'm doing now is going around for the whole system, shutting all the rads off on the thermostatic valves or however they can shut off and just leaving one on. So that is all of them off now, except for this one down here. So now the whole of the thorough flush kit is flushing cold water through this rad and you can see it's beginning to build up from the bottom. So we'll flush this rad completely. And then what I'll do is I'll open one more rad up, shut this one off, do the same with that one, then the next one, then the next one. So it, basically every single rad is being flushed through with cold water, mains water, to get it completely cleared out. So this bit of it is quite time consuming, so that's the process I'm going to do for each rad. And then what you'll see with all the cold water and the mains water running through that, you'll see the bottom of that rad is completely cold. So what we'll do now, we'll get the mallet, tap the bottom of it, Agitate the bottom of the rad up like this, all the way along, and it will just move around any sludge or anything that's caught at the bottom of that rad, and it will send it down through the thorough flush, through the magna cleanse, and out to dump. So there you can see, look, the blue on that rad is the cold going in, and it's flushing it completely through. Yeah, it's just a bit of a long-winded process, but it's definitely worth it because we're still dragging out dirt and and just sludge and whatnot from the system so as i say we'll get doing this to all the other rads and uh, it'll probably take a couple of hours to do this but uh, it's definitely worth it so bear with me and i'll catch you shortly so we've just opened up one of the rads upstairs to flush it through and you can see by the color difference in the water coming through now shifting through here and it's getting a lot of brown gunk out of that part of the system so that's the whole key of shutting each rad down and just pushing everything through one rad at a time it will just shift so much more dirt and clean it and then you know that it's completely flushed through so this is the last rad upstairs that we need to flush out and it's just in the process of working its way from left to right flushing through so we'll let it do its thing for a little bit then we'll knock it and agitate it and then we'll go and see what's coming out downstairs right i've just agitated that one upstairs look how black that pipe work is so look what's coming out of that rad again if there's any iron filings or iron oxide or magnetite it'll be going through there anyway and catching it but yeah, look at the two differences of them so we've now shifted the rads to downstairs and we've opened one of the rads up downstairs and you can see how black this hose is now again running through here and that's what's coming out so yesterday we was using the magna cleanse to get the chemicals in to flush it through using the thorough flush makes a massive huge difference because look what is still coming out which is the whole point of flushing 
with that mains unit. So that's the last of the rads flush through now. We're just letting the last little bit go through. And what I'll do then is leave this running, go and open up every single rad back in the house and just let it flush through for probably another half hour or so, just to make sure everything is out. Then we can disconnect the thorough flush, get the magma clean unit back on, get the inhibitor in and then start heat testing the complete house again. So that's it, I'm just about done now. I'm happy with how the flush has gone, but I'm gonna show you something quite interesting. It's, I suppose you could sort of see the way we've done this. We spent the first day cleaning it through with the Magna Cleanse unit and the MC5 and left the MC3 in overnight. Then yesterday we got quite a bit of iron oxide out of the system. We came back this morning, checked it. There was a little bit left on the, uh, on the magnets. So then we were flushing it through with a thorough flush to get all the chemicals out of the system. Plus, because this is a mains flush, it's going to agitate a little bit more and push a little bit more crap out of the system, if you like. Um, as you can see, sort of like the pressure it's coming out of the system is probably about three quarters of a bar, just under a bar. So we spent, you know, a good four or five hours now flushing it out with that. Now, an interesting point is what I found here. So let's shut off there that's the main feed going in so we've shut the drain off what we're going to do in a moment is isolate those two fittings there for the original magma clean unit and pop that back on but for now i just want to show you so if you remember yesterday we got quite a lot of crap out of here today has been quite interesting as i say if you, you can compare it to what a magna cleanse unit is going to take out of your system and compare it to what the thorough flush has took out the system today. So we know, looking at the cleanliness of the water coming out, how clean the system is now. That's done every single rad on the system, the whole system as well. So I'm completely satisfied that the system is, in essence, completely clean now. We will be doing a test with the ProCheck at the end, but as you can see, it's perfect coming out of there. Now, this is the interesting part. This is what has come out through the dump side of the thorough flush. So we'll undo that. So bearing in mind, this here is the dump coming out of the thorough flush unit. Everything's being dumped out. We could have just sent that straight to the drain and just seen the black sludge, etc., etc., coming out. Whereas I always like to run it through this just as a bit of a, you know, a gauge to see what's coming out. So let's have a look at the second pot first. So this is the pot. That catches the majority of it. This is the second pot. Now that has caught a load of magnetite, iron oxide, etc., from the system. And that's just been today, just with the, th the thorough flush unit. So look at what we've caught on the first one. Look at all of that. Now that is what has come out of the system just today just by using this with a little bit of mains pressure behind it. Yes, you're still gonna have the cleaner in the system that's been in there overnight, but it just goes to show, you can get stuff out with that unit, but couple it up with that and look at what you get. So that and that is predominantly just from that unit found that quite interesting compare it's not a great comparison but day one was with this and day two was majority with that so yeah take that as you will but i am if i weren't already a proper firm believer in using the thorough flush as well you know there's pros and cons to it yes you're going to use a lot of water getting it out you're going to flush all the chemicals out etc but it's pros and cons with everything for me works a treat the customer can see that can see what's come out so, right, let's decouple these now. Let's get the Magna clean unit back on, get some inhibitor in the system, and then we can get the heat back on, begin heat testing it, get all this cleared up. So, we've got the original Magna clean unit back into place. We've got the MC1, so we'll add the MC1 inhibitor into the dosing pot, into the Magna clean pot. Like so, and then we can get the original top on, 
Screw it up, get it all tight, get it ready. We've got to go upstairs, take the, uh, the lever valve off the vent, open the lever valve on the tank, get the system refilled, get it turned on, get some heat into it, and have a tidy up, and see where we're at. So, we've got a bit of a tidy up, it's a little bit more organised here, boiler's running, heat test is in progress, I've put, as always, my info and dates and whatnot that we've done the flush and the clean. Uh, what we're going to do now is just run through the AD Pro check again. So that was the original state of the water from when we first come. So what I'll go and do now, I'll go and empty that and get a little bit of water out the top of a rad and then we can go through the process and I'll show you exactly what it's like. So, there we go, that is fresh at the top of that radiator. Let's take a look. So, we've got our water straight out of the radiator. Let's go to the AD Pro Check app. If we can find it, there it is. Is it the new water test? No, yeah, so it's that one. So, we're doing a retest. Standard system. Next, job reference, boiler serial number. I'll do that shortly. Is there a filter? Yes. Right, take sample of water, which we have done. Place against the backdrop and take photo. Continue. So, what colour is water? Clear. Continue. Dip test strip in water for three seconds, then remove. So, we should whip the top off there. We've got a test strip here. Dip it in the water for three seconds. One, two, three. And remove. Shake off any water. Continue. Allow strip to dry for 60 seconds. Right, count down. Allow strip to dry for 60 seconds. Best results proceed, did you know? So, place strip onto test card. Right. So. Ensure pads are on line. Right, yep, as they are, continue. Right, ensure test card fits within the rectangle and take three images while taken. So now we just, there's a little bit of a cut out there you can see. So we put the test strip in that area and it takes three photos. Right, there we go, finally. Finally, so we've got, I don't know if you can make it out, inhibitor pass, corrosion pass, pH levels pass. Recommendation, inhibitor level okay in system, no further action required. Corrosion level is low, no further action required. pH level okay, no further action required. Continue, add notes. Um, I put system also flush, system also flush with mains thorough flush system. Done. Test. So that's now stored on the AD app. I can email that over to the customer when I do the invoice and then they can see exactly the process and that it's passed and that everything is all okay with the system. So that's that system, flushed, cleaned, everything's working fine, heat tested, balanced the rads, everything is working tip top. So hope you liked it, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button and I'll catch you on the next one.